Hi, I'm Dan Kendall. I'm the host of the Digital Health Today program and the founder of the Health Podcast Network. I'm here at the beautiful Barcelona Health Hub, and with me today is Valentina Taggio. Valentina is with ECH Alliance. Valentina, thanks very much for joining me. Hi, thank you very much for inviting me. Uh, yes, my name is Valentina Taggio, and I'm working at the European Connected Health Alliance, which is its... The A lot of people may have heard about the ECH Alliance. I interviewed Brian O'Connor years ago. Uh, I'm sure your, your organization has changed a lot over the years. So can you just give our audience a little bit of an insight about what ECH Alliance is all about? Sure. Uh, so if you met Brian O'Connor, of course, you know very well what uh, the visionary mission is behind the, the organization, which is actually to connect dots in the healthcare uh, environment. So we try to foster and encourage digital transformation to happen, uh, facilitating connection between different stakeholders. So actually, we like to define ourselves as the trusted connector in this, in this environment. Uh, we are now a pretty big team and we do work basically in two pillars. Uh, we work on uh, uh, facilitating the creation of regional and local digital health ecosystems on the ground on one side. So this is our mission to get stakeholders together at regional level, identifying their priorities and commonalities and needs. And what is closer to, to my activities, uh, we do also uh, participate ourselves as an organization uh, and our members and ecosystems into European funded projects. So I'm uh, coordinating the team uh, which is dealing with European projects in the unit. Brilliant. And, and we're here at the Barcelona Health Hub. We're part of an open day that you guys have organized. And thanks very much for bringing all the different stakeholders in the ecosystem to, together today. Can you tell us a little bit about what the day is? Yes, sure. It was really an amazing initiative, a very last minute initiative, uh, in spite of the mobile work, capital, work congress cancellation and especially the uh, four year for now side event that uh, yearly is arranged in Barcelona for the startup community. Uh, we had there a planned event uh, focused about digital health, but it, of course it couldn't happen. Uh, so we decided with our partner, the Barcelona Health Hub, uh, to arrange this uh, uh, digital health open doors with each with this very nice name because the intention was to attracting uh, the whole uh, uh, regional but not only also international communities that, that is working around digital health in the in catalonia and uh, they were still willing and eager to, to do to have an event dedicated to to the topic so it's it has been really amazing and it's uh, it has a fantastic results, yeah. Now, this event came together very quickly because of the cancellation of the Mobile World Congress, but you organize events all throughout the year. So what are some of the other sorts of events that people can find out about and attend in their local markets? Well, one very good example is the Digital Health Society Summit. We had our first edition uh, uh, last December in Helsinki. Uh, the Digital Health Society is uh, an open stakeholder movement that was promoted by CH Alliance uh, during the Estonian presidency of the Council of European Union, so in the second semester of 2017. And then as a legacy of that presidency, it remained as a permanent movement that we are supporting. So we are having uh, uh, regularly uh, an international summit arranged by this, uh, this stakeholder community which is called a Digital Health Society and actually out now we are planning uh, to have uh, other similar events also in, uh, in, uh, in other countries that are going to hold the, the council presidency like Germany for instance in the next semester. So tell the audience where they can find out more about these various events and also how they can go about bringing their organization as part of the ECH Alliance. How can they find out more? Sure. Uh, any kind of stakeholder interested can find uh, all the information about ECH Alliance in our website, which is echalliance.com. You will find uh, a dedicated page to ecosystems, so you can learn more about the existing ecosystems and also the uh, opportunities that are there for members. And there is also a dedicated space for for our upcoming events uh, and I have to say because of course it's more my on my side that we have recently updated also the the page dedicated to the European projects that we are participating in so you can also check what are the project about and what is the ECH Alliance role in each of it. Great 
Before I let you go, there's one other thing I want to make sure I ask you about, and that is the I2M. You just announced that today, and we don't have a winner yet here at the, the, the Open Doors event. But can you tell us what the I2M event is all about? Sure. Um, I would like to bring I2M as an example of those activities that are brought about uh, by European projects. Uh, European research innovation projects are usually regarded as something that is still struggling in getting closer to the startup and SMEs community. They are pretty uh, traditional in terms of uh, consortium composition, so you can see many uh, universities, research organizations, but companies uh, are still struggling in getting involved. And uh, I2M is a nice example of how this trend is changing, uh, because it's uh, I2M stands for Innovation to Market, and is uh, an initiative promoted by the European Innovation Partnership on Active Healthy Aging. We are part of a project that is supporting this uh, European Commission initiative. Uh, so it's specifically about uh, digitally enabled solution uh, for uh, uh, making, uh, um, uh, for promoting active healthy aging uh, and uh, more independent and longer lives. And it's uh, delivering a set of services uh, for both demand and supply to try to bridge this gap. Uh, I2M specifically includes coaching, training, uh, and also the adoption awards. That is the uh, award that we are uh, um, holding today at the Barcelona Health Hub. Uh, so we are right now uh, selecting among three finalists uh, a successful adoption case because the idea is uh, awarding a couple made by an healthcare organization organization and the company who succeeded to have a digital solution in place adopted in routine care to make adoption visible to other regions that would like to scale it up. And will this be a competition that you're running every year or is it run multiple times throughout the year or is it just a one time? It was the first edition this okay. year but we have received so very good feedbacks so that we foresee that the uh, in the framework of the new uh, programming period uh, that will start in 2021 there will be more initiative uh, regarding active healthy aging so we will continue running possibly uh, some of the services that the I2M is offering today, including the awards. Yeah. But anyone can go to ECHAlliance.com and sign up for your newsletter and find out about bringing their organization as one of the members within ECH Alliance, right? And they can be kept up to date about all these sorts of competitions. Is that correct? Yes, we issue a monthly newsletter to all uh, our sus subscribers. And uh, we have also recently update uh, the different categories of membership that you can choose from. So you can select actually depending on your profile and the needs, uh, with what is the, the membership package that is more uh, uh, appealing to you. Well, thank you very much for coming and spending time with us here in the studio. Thanks for organizing a great event today and thanks for bringing out the great weather. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Thanks.